So what we're doing here is we're putting up our cattle panels to serve as our main fence for our, uh, our main uh, chicken area. And so we've got a 16 foot panel here. I've got these eight foot T posts that rise up a little bit higher. We're gonna come back along this whole panel here and put poultry wire up and then add some poultry wire above here just to keep the chickens from jumping this fence because it's only a four foot fence. And then what, what I'm doing with this panel is I've taken this panel and cut it in half and standing it upright and this is gonna serve as a, as a gate to a paddock that we're gonna build in this area later on. And so I'm gonna put a couple of these in the fence area so that we'll be able to swing out and let the chickens into a, another paddock. And so basically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm taking advantage of this groove on the back side of the T-post and just fastening in this gate here inside the T-post clips so that it'll be able to swivel. And so that's all we're doing. So now that we've got all the T-post clips down, uh, holding the gate up, just I want to give a little bit of support up here at the top. So I'm just going to use a little bit of, um, I believe this is, is this 16 or 18 gauge? 17. 17 gauge wire. A little bit of 17 gauge wire. and We're just going to go around and around a couple times just to give it some support up here at the top. There we go. Now the whole thing swivels and none of it comes loose. And again, this is not something we're going to be doing every day. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll probably be paddocking on them maybe once a week. We'll have them shift from one paddock to the other. So, you know, we'll, we'll shut it one, open it and shut it once a week. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. If you don't have one of these tools, this is called a clip bender. I'm going to do another video where I talk about this in more detail. This saves you so much time over using a pair of pliers when using these uh, T-post clips to, to fasten to a T-post. So. Shall not pass. All right, what you got there? Um, I'm working on adding three foot chicken wire to the um, chicken paddock area um, on the hog panel. And so what I'm using is um, hog rings and a tool that will apply the hog rings and clamp it down much like you make uh, our rabbit cages with with the rabbit wire as well. So I'm just spacing it out every few uh, panels here and then making sure I get down at the bottom. So uh, I'm just working on this and I'll quickly show how that works. It's just that easy. And they come in a roll of 500 um, and we load the next one. All right, so we, show us how, how we load that real quick. Oh, it's just a spring-loaded uh, plier. And you just seat it with the open ends out, and then you can grab both the, uh, these are large enough to grab the uh, cattle panel as well as the chicken wire, which is why we're not using the rabbit uh, products, because they're just a little bit too small. Okay, look at there, hog rings. All right, well, we managed to get everything finished up out here, and we've got the poultry wire up along the cattle panels all the way around, and we got our chickens in here, and they are happy. And we finished up, uh, you know, late last, yesterday evening, pretty close to dark, as soon as we got finished up and, and uh, got all our tools and everything up and out of the way, we went over and uh, rounded up the chickens there in their kennels at dark and brought them over here and uh, put them in the coop. And then of course this morning, bright and early, we let them out and they were excited. Um, so right now we've got about 31 chickens in here plus the three guineas. Most of them are hanging out over there in uh, that uh, little batch of pigweed over there. But uh, oh, we got two roosters there that are uh, not seeing eye to eye. And uh, it could mean that one of them's going to be cold here before too long. Uh, glad I caught that. That's interesting. But uh, so uh, I was actually going to get to that point anyways. Uh, 31 chickens in here. We've still got the older Jersey Giants that are about five months old. We haven't put them in here yet. They're free ranging over by the rabbits. And we've got the three adults, uh, one rooster and two hens that are our laying hens right now. And uh, we may or may not incorporate them uh, into, into this into this group. But uh, 
yeah, some of these roosters, they're going to be dinner here between now and, you know, the next couple of months, you know, whenever they get big enough. So, a couple things coming up. We're going to be doing some uh, five-gallon buckets with some uh, uh, chicken nipples, uh, water nipples, to uh, set up some automatic watering. Probably do one inside, hang it from the rafters of the inside of the coop. We'll probably do one outside. Not sure where we're going to hang it yet, um, but uh, we'll get that set up and uh, we'll get a video of that for you. So, uh, thanks for watching our videos. And uh, if you like what we're doing, like what you see, give us a subscribe to see some more of it. And uh, appreciate you watching. Talk to you guys later.